What's going on everybody? I gotta move my chair back up here. So there's an app that's been out for a while. I've been playing around with it called Do Dilly. If you haven't heard about Do Dilly, it's on, at least I know the Apple phones. Basically, it's supposed to give you centering edges, corners, surface grade onto it all. I don't think the surface works very well onto it, my own self. That's why I still use the scope. Uh, corners, edges, somewhat. I'd probably say it's about 80-90% tops accurate. Centering can be tricky onto it. Um, what I've learned is when... I'll show you guys the app on my phone here in a minute. Um, because I already got the card scanned in that we're going to run. But you got to... The box has like an outline. So if you guys ever deposited a check by phone, you know how you got to get that perfect thing where the box is around your check and it snaps perfectly? Well, here that box is red. If you click on it while it's red, you're going to have a screwed up reading. You got to make the box green. At the same time frame, you got to try to make that card as like lined up, like I don't want to say centered in the box as best you can because otherwise it throws your centering grade off. So I'm going to show you guys here. Let me open my phone up. Oh, got to use the face ID. Hold on. New phone. So here we go. Do Dilly. It's what it looks like. Hopefully, I get. No, I'm going to pull it up here a little bit just so we, in case I get any weird uh, messages here. I don't want to embarrass anybody. But um, this is the back. It's the Lamello uh, mosaic. When I found mosaic, I've been using a black background. It wouldn't take it because of the chrome. So I just went with the regular blue mat. So I took the front and back already. Click it. Oh boy, here we go. Fun part. All right, so then I got to type all this stuff in here. I'm just going to put in 2021 uh, mosaic card type base. I'm just doing this real quick here. 2021 mosaic card number. We're just going to call it 69 and player name. Come on. There we go. Lamello ball. <laughs> I want to say balls. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do Dilly. So now we're going to get the assessment. As you can see, I tried to line this up as best as I can. So it takes a few minutes here to do this. And I'll show you guys two other cards I did, too. And I've been playing around with this for a while. I deleted my other ones that were on here. I should have kept them all because I wasn't too sure if I was going to do this or not. It's still spinning up here. It's hard to see because the lighting. It's just There it is. Nope. Oh, there we go. God. All right. So we got our assessment down here. I'm trying to see how I can get that to focus here. Uh, won't show. All right, I'll put some screen pictures in the comments here, all right? Or in the comments in the uh, video. Oh, here we go. So here we go. A little bit here you can see corners. It's saying uh, it's a B plus down here. Oh, here we go. I'll just go like this. Don't even need to do it now. They're saying corner one might be a little bit bad, so B plus on it. Here's what I've been using it for, centering. Off center. So the center is off from left to right, 50-50, 47-52.94. This would be good to go into PSA. You're going to make your stuff onto it. This is a cool app for the centering piece onto it, no lie. The surface... I've never had anything over a B, so oh, let's see. Can I get a grade? Well, it says B plus. I just can't. Oh, there it is. B plus. Oh, I didn't know you sweat. What's left of me this way? Oh, this way. There we go. So there's what they're saying. You could see. I, I was going to say it should have like an infrared thing on to it, kind of. Now, some of this may be dust I didn't clean off. So kind of cool. Edges, a B, say an edge number one, which is common on to them all. So not bad overall. All right. Um, I want to look at my snap score. It says I should be a PSA 8 or 9. I think these are way off. SGC may be correct on to it, but I think it's off as well. Just from my experience with grading and looking the cards over. So let me get, let me throw whoever's on Instagram off. All right. So here's some of the card. I did a Wander Franco that I kept on here. So this is where I'll just show you guys. Okay. So look at the centering on this right here, all right? 
Notice how I'm just a little bit crooked on the card. And that's why a little bit my stuff's off. But it's still good for PSA. The surface got a B plus. Now, the only thing I wish they'd do here would have like little red dots or arrows pointing this stuff out. And then edges, of course, one again. A plus, though. So, pretty cool. All right, this is something I got from CBC, and I just was, I used this yesterday because uh, somebody else hit me up on this app and I deleted all my stuff. This is an older Nolan Ryan, 94 per deck. Corners, I knew the top left. They gave me a B plus. Centering, 40-60, which is your left and right, which we can see already. Top and bottom. Surface, B plus again. I don't know how you get an A on it, but. And then there's my edges, A plus. So not bad overall. And I mean, if you go, you go to snap score. This would probably come back a PSA 8. It'd probably be an SGC 9. And I'd probably go as far as maybe a 9 to a 9.5. It might have some subgrades of 9.5 on it. So, I mean, if you're new, it's a free free app. Let me go back. And to assess card, I just upload a new card and do all that stuff, too. But I got the pictures done early. So, it's called Do Dilly. Oh, I can't show it. There it is. Do Dilly. It's actually free right now. Um, if you're into grading, it's just a tool to use. I'm not saying by all it's going to be accurate. Mostly because of where I have that centering tool, you guys see with all the lines on real close, and I have to blow it up and stuff to see where I'm at. This kind of helps take a little bit of the guesswork out onto it. But like I said, you really, really have to make sure that card is like flush left and right and up and down. It can't be angled at all because it is going to affect that score. I played around with it last week and it did. Now they have been updating it, so that may be a bug that they fixed. But good tool to have. Um, again, I don't really agree with the surface much. Um, I would have to really look at a card under the scope and then put underneath it to see what the difference is going to be onto it. But like I said, with the surface, I wish they would have like real red dots or arrow or something you can click on like the dot and tells you what it is. That would be kind of cool. Um, corners and edges, eh, somewhat I'm going to agree with it on to it because I know the Nolan Ryan was offhand. But if you're really just trying to get the guesswork out of it, and I'm going to tell you what, this would be a great tool for the card shows. So when you go to see a raw card, do dilly it right there. Kind of crazy. I said do dilly it, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's just going to help. You could, you could probably say, no, check it out. Centering's off. You know, I, now I'm going to have to try to hit every other point there is onto this. I mean, I wouldn't try to hit somebody it's seasoned <laughs> with the surface onto it unless you could physically see it. Edges and corners, of course, same thing. And I wouldn't say, well, it says due diligence. It's going to get a PSA 8 or 9. You know, I'm only going to pay raw for, you know, this. And I got to grade it. Don't try to season person's going to look at you that does grading and probably have a few choice words on to it. So don't get in those heated arguments. It's a good tool for centering. Um, it could pick up stuff really, really quickly, too. So, I mean, you might not have your magnifier there. Maybe that red piece onto it picks up, you know, some lines or something onto it just to help you out real quick as if, hey, should I buy this or not for this price? Maybe save some money. Pretty cool app, guys. Give it a shot. Like I said, it's called Do Dilly on the Apple iPhone, I think. I know Joey has a droid or something out there, and he has it now, too. Give it a chance. Pretty good app. No way am I affiliated with them or sponsored by them or none of that craziness out there. It's just stuff that people send to me or I find, you know, on boards. And I just want to share the information so everybody out there has these tools in their arsenal so that, you know, you do well out there overall. 
The one thing I would like to say, though, about this, I wish there was a way where it could take the measurement of the card to see if it's been trimmed. So if you're the Dude Dilly app creator, I give you a B on to overall app right now with it, with the potential of a good A. Um, you would have my complete like thing if there was a way where it measured it up against trim cards out there. That would be phenomenal. I mean, I'd give you like a double A plus type deal. But I think real, realistically, with that um, infrared piece, I know it's like a piece to where it's a filter. If there's a way where it could show you exactly what it is so we could help teach people what they're looking for out there that's new to grading, it'd be awesome. That would give you an A in my book offhand. But I would give it a really a good, strong B plus on this. And you guys know I'm very, very judgmental on a lot of stuff. I, I, this is a good app. Very, very good. It has very, I would, I want to say very, it has room for growth and it has a lot of room for potential out there. So check it out. Catch you guys next video.